Oh. What is going on? Oh. Okay, you guys ready? Bye. Are you ready? Yeah. Good. Cut them lights on. Oh. Right now is your chance to be the proud owner of this beautiful truck right here. All right, so every $5 you spend on GoogleSquad.com will get you an entry into winning this truck. LTZ Chevy, Silverado 1500. I'm excited about it. Oh yeah, that rumble on that V8. This could be your truck. standing on right now but yeah this right no, here this is a bug out this is a bug out vehicle I like stuff it, hits the fan i need to be mobile can i carry shotgun with us down through there there's or is nothing it clear? in there dude it's clear it's totally clear right. like you guys are oh. i'm telling you it's the safest place on the planet it's a totally stranger thing yeah this is the entrance yeah this, this is it yeah yeah oh yeah it's in the middle of nowhere yeah this is wild. what are you, you guys you, wow these guys are like yeah. tripping dude I'm I'm, like, I'm this is like going here. this is like going to my house now it's, i'm so used to it like what's, what's a problem like two extra arms <laughs> for real. As you can tell, folks, we were at the missile silo. It's the first time these guys have ever experienced it. Yeah. And I'm going to give them the full tour. We're sitting on seven acres of land, and we're on top of a nuclear Atlas F missile silo base, which actually housed a missile back in the 60s during the Cuban Missile Crisis, that if one push the button, within 10 minutes, a rocket would shoot out, and Cuba would no longer exist on this planet. And it was stored right over there. Right. Right where we're standing. Right baby. there. I would, dude, I know. I'm pissed they didn't leave it, but doesn't mean we can't build that, something. That would have been like, like a little. It like, looks like, like one. Wait, somebody was like, "You need to get like a model and like launch it off the launch pad, oh, like a little, nice little model rocket." So, anyways, we're gonna give these guys the tour. Uh, if you guys have seen my channel, you've seen a bunch of it. But if you're new here, uh, like I said, Atlas F Missile Silo. There's living quarters. There's a missile silo that's 150 feet deep, filled with water to explore, and a bunch of other. Really awesome things. This is gonna be crazy. Weird. I feel like we're going into a haunted house plus an historical monument, a little piece of history. Government satellites watching us soon. I feel like right somebody now. is watching us, right? So, now. Someone's probably definitely watching. Yeah, they're they're keeping a close eye on us. So um, before we go into it, we got to give the boys the tour on the surface here. There's not a ton to it, okay. no, no. but I got to give you the full experience okay. and also just. Keep the hype built, Dude, and I then we'll go down in the side. We ripped the wagon. I have no idea what to expect right now. Because I genuinely haven't watched any of the videos because I knew we were coming. <laughs> oh, here. dude, that's all. No, 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 it's fine. No, <laughs> no, no I'm no, saying because I knew we were coming to see it, so I'm like, I don't want to oh, see anything. So you don't know nothing. I don't know nothing other than I saw like you paddling on Instagram in the. Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Other than that, I don't know. Oh, geez, it's gonna be interesting. So, uh, start off with the property tour, and then we'll go down into the depths. Let's take a ride, bro. You want to see this? Yeah, truck? let's take Let's a ride. I want to see if it fires up. Yeah. Is it team? Oh wow! This is, a, this is like the hunting mobile shifting with slash the left hand. I Look like at that! It. Yeah, that's right hand one. drive, but shift with the left. And which is the clutch on the left still? Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, man, could you imagine if the clutch was on the right? Come on, baby. Come on. There she yeah. is. Yeah. Oh. Purrs like a kitten, dude. Oh, yeah, that's a perfect little buck truck. Look at the how oh, this is just held in right here. Hold on, boys. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready, boys! There's an exhaust, there's an exhaust leak over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is definitely exhaust leak. Alright, I'm ready, man. Oh, I believe this thing smells like a lawnmower. Having <laughs> some <laughs> weed eater. Alright. Let's go, baby! We're ready! Why is it just revving it up? This thing. Are we stuck in reverse? Whoa! Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> there she is. It's going on. <laughs> Where are we? We're at a real first, first silo. stop. Oh, 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 stop. There we go. First stop. Uh, <laughs> this is, you're looking at right now, a future dangle pond. Dangle pond? Right here. See the load and depression? I'm going to come in here in the spring, yeah, excavate. Right. We're going to have big old nuclear largies living in Nuclear there. large. Yeah, I love Should it, radioactive so. fish, bro? That's what I'm thinking. They're glowing at night, dude. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. So, man. pond location is going to be over here. I guess the well house is over here. Do you want to drive over there? What? Or do you want to is, walk? Is that original? Yeah, yeah, it's original. You want to walk over there or check yeah, it out? Dude, yeah, dude, let's yeah. just give her a good hop. We got to let her warm up. She's yeah. a little dusty. All right, boys. Out a beer bottle. There it is. Somebody's been drinking some man eyes. <laughs> Party? Partying. Probably a few. Oh, God. Damn. Need that helmet. Lab testing. Oh, oh. A urine uh, sample. What is it? 
urine sample, buddy. What is going on what do you in think here? That, what is that? That's a uh, radioactive. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> said, I, I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. Probably won't. Play that looks that. brand new. We got a turd. <laughs> no way. We got a raccoon turd. Got <laughs> a turd. Big turd, boys. Big fatty. So, so my plan with this. Yeah. Ultimate deer blind. With wait, cut up. our deer. Here. What deer? What? Look in the field, my guy. We got deer everywhere. I don't see anything. They're loaded. You sure? Oh, it's positive. Well, shit. it's it's like new. Three mile shot. Are they growing antlers out of their ass. I'm gonna, I'm, listen, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put a food pot over here, okay? And then I'm gonna cut a hole in the ceiling with a ladder, so I can climb up. What is that? Some just. Oh! tell Flair this, he called us probably all before he bought it, you know, like months ago. I was like, dude, should I do this? And I was like, yeah, this is cool. But now that I'm here, this is probably the dumbest saying our friend could ever yeah. know. This is terrifying. Like, yeah. actually, not even YouTube oh. stuff, like picking stuff up, you're like, this might be radioactive. What are we doing? And he said it's full of asbestos. Oh, yeah. He said, but it's... <laughs> All aboard, boys! Yeah, I guess so. I guess now we're gonna go see what that tastes like. What are you talking about? The asbestos, seeing what it tastes no, like. No, we we're going to the, the launch pad now. Oh, oh. hop on in. The, just the radioactive fuel. Come on, boys, we got a nuclear. We got a set off or something. <laughs> Welcome to the, to the launch pad, folks. This is where you don't want to fall. You right? don't want, yeah, you don't, right? If you fill from here, 150 feet. Well, about 80 to the water and then 150 to the bottom. 80's rough. 80, yeah. yeah, it'd be rough. So over here, right here, you're looking at, do you see down there? Oh, I don't know. I don't so, like so right it. here, these are two 60 ton doors that would open up, the rocket would come out, and then it would take off. I saw a YouTube video, wow. guy used two cranes, couldn't even make them budge. Yeah, so we're stuck, right now is exactly where the nuke would just <laughs> shoot out. Think about how big it is. I mean, yeah. Well, think about this. this. That's your rocket. Oh, yeah, dude, that's how big your rocket is. Hey, big. So, think about this. Okay, I live in Florida, and from Florida to Cuba is fairly close. It is a 20 hour drive from my house to here. Yeah. And this rocket is not only going past my house, a 20 hour drive. Yeah. But it's going to Cuba. Yep. Can you imagine seeing that's that? That's crazy. A 15 foot, maybe bigger. I don't know. That was just estimated. Oh, that's what I way, did. It, way yeah, bigger. Big. Like yeah. 15 to 18 foot nuclear head. Whoosh. It, would, it, would do some, it would do some damage. Oh my. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much the surface. I mean, there's some concrete pads over there. They used to have Quonset huts with like all the military Humvees. So that that concrete pad, there's another concrete pad. So they had like the, you know, the buildings, like the yeah, half shape yeah, 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 yeah. with all of the military vehicles. So that's where they'd park all that. Those weren't here when I bought it, unfortunately. What but. a great place to hide such a massive Who would, who would suspect anything? There's, there's nothing around. Yeah, yeah it's just corn. Cool. Middle of nowhere. Just nothing. Turn. Yeah. It's so corn. There, there's the upper decker tour. Upper now we're deck. going below deck, and these boys are gonna <laughs> themselves, so stay tuned. Welcome, boys, to the silo. Oh, God. I don't think I like this idea <laughs> anymore at all. What's wrong with it? I just don't, it's so creepy. Well, let's just get it. You haven't even seen it yet. Come on. This ain't is nothing. Is this what asbestos tastes like? No, no, there's no, there's no that. <laughs> what is like this? We're Wait. going into a submarine. What is this? Mixed That's the water the guy. You don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> in case your missile silo floods, call me. <laughs> what? What are you doing? What do you mean? <laughs> there's nothing to do. I feel, I feel the same way. Right like, there's nothing wrong. I I've feel like it, I should have a mask I've on. I've had everything tested. Asbestos. I've had the pollution in but the air. But it all came everything. back with yes. No. Yes. It was it. just they said don't shake it and eat it. <laughs> this is, this is, there's, no, there's no insulation here. This is new. This is not yeah, asbestos territory, my guy. Okay, where it is? I'll show you. You'll see it. Oh, there okay. it is. We'll see it. <laughs> this ain't it. All right, okay. we'll go on this so way. we'll cover our mouths later. So look up. 
See, that's you, there used to be a door there. And see, there used to be a door there. Big door. So you would come through here. They would shut it behind you. You had to give them a code. Okay, there's that's the wire that came down. I like, talk to them, you know? Yeah, yeah. If it was a wrong code, boom! Right, because you're trapped in between two doors. I'll kill you right then and there. They, shut you, up. Yeah, you have a paper code, okay? Get the right code, you come this way. Right code, look, this door opens, shh. Right here was a bucket, lit it on fire, did it. One time code use. Then they let, then they let you in. That's how you got into this place. Hey, let me ask you a question. How did you get the code? That you would be sent. Like, somebody, you know, another missile silo base would send you, but they don't want, like, people right. breaching. Right. So they'd give you the code. If you read the wrong code, they'd kill you and you'd be trapped. <laughs> how many people worked here, like, regularly? Um, I think it was, I want to say it was four to eight. So that, that's the sound pump. That's the sound pump. That's, that's normal. It's a sound pump. It's like water's filling up. We just, we just drown. <laughs> so, anyways, that's, yeah, see, that's what, like, this old electrical line would be, like, the intercom system and stuff. Yeah, so you come through here. I don't know why they're scaffolding here. It's not mine. Probably left there. It's not mine. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is blast door number one. So, oh my God, there's five. There's five. You can go. It moves. Go ahead. Let's see it. It moves. I've moved it. Gosh, dude. You got it. Oh my god. Dude, this thing is. is that <laughs> I don't know a lot. Isn't that crazy? So there's five of these before you get to the missile. It would protect the missile in case the new kit, nothing, the missile itself would not get hurt. Okay, if another new kit yeah. is area. So, okay, when you think, I'm gonna hide in a fetal position in my house. Yeah, it, the house has nothing. Yeah, like this has five. Five. So you'd just be. In between you and the rocket. Yeah. You'd be able to pop. Yeah. So, blast door number one, Look at this. here, and then you come through here, you got blast door number two. Wow, so oh. all this is is to break up blast, that's all right. this is. Yeah. There's no other purpose to these rooms, it has to break up the blast. Is this concrete this? It's nine feet thick, the walls. Oh. The exterior is nine, nine feet thick concrete. Nine Yeah, nine. Feet? Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh yeah, no, it can withstand a nuke. Like, it, it's nine feet thick concrete. The, the, these external walls are nine feet. Of just straight concrete. Okay. Dude, yeah. That's me and Tristan standing on top of each other. Oh. A thick. Yeah. Nine. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yep. So come through here. Watch your step. I don't know. You've got this is Vandra's favorite room in the house. Oh, Lord, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't paint this obviously. So how do people get in here before? <clears throat> that's the biggest mystery of them all. They think they climb through the air ducts. Huh? Yeah, and yeah. scale. Oh, that's not well. weird. But the, everything's sealed now. There's no way anybody can get in anymore. Alright, so come down in here. You can see more art. There's lots, of, there's lots of nice art here. You know what? Honestly, that lifts the mood. Does it? Yeah. Because you yeah. know other people have been here and they didn't die. Because, you know, I'm, well, I'm looking for like these nuclear symbols and all this stuff. Yeah, and it gets yeah. like real tense. Yeah, yeah. And you know, get puckered. And then you see a nice, like, little just. Like, you know, someone, someone had a little fun time here. Some kids. Yeah. All right. So this this level, so the first level here, this is where everybody lives. So this is the bunk room, the kitchen, bathroom, whatever. Beneath us would be the command center where all the computers were, where the button would be to hit and oh, go. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. So to we're gonna there's we're gonna go through the living quarters. Well, so dude, it's big. So well, people full time staff. Whoa. Oh, full time staff. What? Whoa. Full time staff. In here. Yeah. It's so weird. The sound. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's all let's go. It's insulated. Let's go! No Help! Fear. There's a no coming here! No one's gonna hear your ass. So, um, when, this, when the guy bought it, you'll see downstairs, uh, it's all metal and the, that's what this was. So when he bought it, I mean, he did, he got everything out and cleaned it. And it may not look like much, but this is like a palace compared to what it was when he bought it back in the 90s. Dude, he did a ton of work. This is so legit. much bigger it's huge. than your video yeah, show. Yeah, it's big. Yeah. It is huge. Yeah. So, so our plan, we're gonna have Bunker rooms here. I'm gonna have a projector with a TV there. Kitchen, bathroom. We're gonna paint the paint everything. Floor. I mean, it'll be fully, fully livable. Well, oh, there's a ladder over yeah. here. So this. Here's the backstory on this ladder. You ready for this? Well, you're hang on. We gotta back it up a little bit. Come over here. Read this. I saw that full. Only in full. case of emergency. Yeah. So this went there, up. The, it, the, it has a screwdriver now, it didn't back in the day, it had a pin. That was filled with tons of sand, like two, three tons of sand. So that's an escape hatch to get to the top. They put sand there because if a blast were to happen, it would blow that door out and kill everybody in here. So they put sand as the barrier, okay? 
Here's so, cool filled thing. with sand. Glass goes off. They had to wait. They had a certain amount of days they would have to wait. They had like a protocol. You'd pull this. This whole room would fill full of sand. You'd climb out. There'd be a, a hammer strapped to the, the wall because the top layer of the sand would turn to glass because of the heat. Oh, they wow. would break it and then go up and then regroup. All the missiles out people would come together and figure out how to keep going. Think about the, how they had to think through this process yeah. and build this. Yeah. It was legit. This was like no BS. Straight up legit. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. I wonder how long this took to build. Um, I think it took two years to build and it was in, in like operation for two years and then they shut it down. And it cost, I don't know what it was back then. I think now it's like 150 plus million if you wanted to build this Whoa. same thing. Imagine. Because I think it was like 20 some million back in the day. Imagine the yeah. guys in the fields. So this was secret. Mm hmm. But was it secret to like the local farmers who saw cement trucks oh, every yeah. day? For no, they, yeah, they would, def they would definitely know. Yeah. Right. So how they did it was they would excavate a <laughs> giant hole in the ground, build the whole thing, and then just back. That's how they built these things. So they'd make a giant crater, build all this stuff, and then fill it. Whoa. That's how they build these things. Wow. So what is this right here? That we're so this is just the middle like support structure, and it goes through to the second floor. You'll see it. All this is concrete. floating, right? So this, yeah, this, this, it all floats. So here, come over this way. Look, so look at that. That's a chain link. Those chains is what <laughs> held the floor. And it, so when it, the blast would go off, nothing would break. So the whole, the, there's a gap. If you look around the corner downstairs, you'll see it better. There's a gap, like this big of a gap around the whole, the whole thing. The whole thing just floats. What? So if a blast goes off, nothing shatters and breaks. The engineering. Yeah, the engineering is crazy. Crazy. Um, this is yes. This is the main electrical line, which is not uh, up to code, obviously. Yeah. Oh my! As it's sitting on the two by four right there above the bathtub. Yeah. So yeah, don't not that. great, but it's there. Yeah. So the guy, the, this didn't have power. There was no electricity in this thing wow. when he bought it. He ran all this himself. DIY. It's a big that deal. It is kind of crazy. Yeah. Get running water. So did they all just like bathe in front of each other right here? Or? Yeah, they didn't care. It was really? just a husband and wife ready for Y2K. Oh, I meant. I meant this is not an original bathtub. No, okay. no, he brought this cast iron tub down here. Imagine. Wow. You can figure out how you did that. Me neither. Yeah. Running water. The toilet sat here. We disconnected because we're gonna move. We're gonna move. I want the toilet and all that stuff on that side. Oh, of the you kitchen. can see down, right, dude. Look. Yeah, there's. That's your second floor. Oh wow. Yeah. So. That's, this is the living quarter. So this is going to be, when you guys come back, you'll have lights, it'll be white paint, it's going to be wood floor. I mean, it's going to be a studio park. Okay. Like wow. mint studio park. Full, like, <laughs> William Sonoma vibes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Magnolia. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Magnolia. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is the living quarters. Come down this way, show you the rest. Coming down to the second story here, this is the command center. Now I'm smelling it. It's getting moist. It smells it? like the 60s. It's getting moist. Smell it now. Yeah, it is getting moist. There's a lot of moisture actually right here. So look, see the gap? Look at Whoa. that. Look at that flopper there. Turn turn wow. on that light there, Flair. See the how it's all floating? Right. Oh, look yeah. up. It's oh, just shit. it's just floating. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this was the command center. Watch your step. There's a hole Jeez. there. Jesus. So this would be like all these holes in the floor was computer the computers, wires. flip it open, <laughs> whoosh, rock. That's this place. So living upstairs, command center. So they would run in shifts. You would have like two or three sleep, two or three work. On and off, that's it. All day long. Just ready. All seven, day. seven days a week, ready to rock. So this guy was ready for the end of the world. So you, you're looking at, these are from 1999. It's all MREs. Wow. Stacked up, you got fruit drink, White sugar, yep. non-fat powdered milk. He was ready. MREs, rations. It's. He took it serious. I don't dude. know if I like. You're not a true prepper. It's, I mean, I. You, don't, you wouldn't go through this much work. Oh, there's bananas. Oh, I ate those the other day. Really? Yeah, 20, 25 year old bananas are pretty good though. Yeah. Was this like a Y2K? Yeah, sort yeah, of thing? it was Y2K. So he bought it in like '98 and renovated for two years, ready for Y2K. That was his plan. Mm. And then it didn't happen. Right. So he sold it to a YouTuber. <laughs> That's what happened, actually. So, but here's what I just found out though. Under us are hundreds of five gallon buckets filled with food rations, yarn, flour, spaghetti, MREs, mustard. You wanna really? see it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. boys, hey, you guys have fun, man. Uh, uh, take a picture for me. Back there, yeah, holy yeah. shit. So, oh, so that's 
So yeah, you look through here. Cam, you got a see through. He's macaroni, macaroni. Yeah. So spaghetti they're, sauce. They're spaghetti sauce. Like, there's macaroni. Asparagus. Pinto beans. Yeast. Hundreds. Look, pancakes. Oh. There's so many. Oh my God! Look how many are right here. Maple syrup. Oh my God. So this one I opened already. You have to take. He seals it. These have been sealed since 1999. You have to take your knife and you have to cut. Cut all these. I just opened this the other day. Oh, really? that's gonna hang just, around. Bro, there's no <laughs> airflow. Super I nervous in here. Ready? Just wow. years worth of mustard. And they're probably still good, huh? Probably. Maybe. That they are. 25 year old mustard. It so he has like, like he probably has 10 mustard. <laughs> like that's how crazy it is. Totally I mean, he has, <laughs> he has everything. <laughs> I, got, I fart when I get nervous, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, this is the food storage. Let's climb out. Take you guys to the real magic. To right. the missile silo. Oh my god. All right, boys. So blast door number three is right here. Ooh, a little kind of You're getting close. Look, you got with the caution tape. Oh. So in my opinion, in my opinion, this is probably the safest place. You're in a tube in the dead center, covered in concrete. If a bomb goes off, you'd be chilling if you're staying right here. Okay. So watch your step. We, we excavated this from the, uh, the, the water. The silo pulled it out and got it out of the way. So through this tunnel is through blast door number four. Look, you see the, you see <laughs> yeah. the oozing? I know exactly where you're going. Oh, don't touch, touch it. Oh, oh yeah. Don't lick that. Definitely don't lick that. <laughs> oh, These guys are tripping, dude. This ain't, this is... Well, you don't know what it is. Well... You didn't have that tested? No, I have not had Buddy swab the sludge on the wall. I know, you're right. You're right, I have it. Some, some nice sludge. I don't, it's oozing in. I don't know how that, why it's oozing in. This is our water heater. Nice, thank God. This is a boost pump to pump the water. So the, the water goes through here and it goes all the way to the living quarters. This is the water heater. Right. Again, how did he get it down here? I don't know. <laughs> you, guys, you guys really think you're gonna get sick from this? I don't know. No, I, mean, I, don't, I don't have no idea. I'll be retired in about yeah, I'm Bro, oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is a graffiti from 1978. Okay. So that's how long they, Hood rats been coming in here and doing that rat rats. But we put these tarps up here to keep the moisture the from going all the way through. Yeah, through. look at the ceiling to the right. Oh, wait till you get in here. Yes, it gets it gets worse. All right, follow me. Have you ever like heard any weird voices or felt any like things? I'll be honest now. Okay. No. He also touched the sludge. Uh, so as you guys know, wetsuit, sharp yeah. objects don't don't go together. So they put this padding so when the scuba team went through, they wouldn't cut their wetsuits. So that's why this is on here. Their head. Watch your step. All right, boys. Way. Well, this is the final moment. Yeah. So this, this is the last time you could back out if you choose. You have any? I mean, I've right. already got whatever I'm gonna get <laughs> down here. Got it now. So I, I, I've come to the end. I'm ready to see. This is it. it. This is what's gonna end. All right, let's go to the missile silo. Oh yeah. Wow, now uh, Boys ready? Welcome to the silo, boys. Sheesh. Shoo! What? Oh. Harry balls. <laughs> that was fun. Just had to what was it? Sorry about that. Okay, you guys ready? My Are you ready? Yeah. Goodness. Yeah. Cut them lights on. What? what? Welcome to the silo, boys. Oh my god. Uh, Whoa, where are you going? I'm just giving you guys some room. Dude, it is way bigger in person. That's what she said. Thanks. But yeah. Thanks. How deep is this motor? Uh, 150 feet. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if there was in no a missile water? Was, how did the water get in here? And they had, they they had, they had pumps. They had huge pumps. And they would keep the water out there. Mm -hmm. right? Oh yeah. my god. The gosh. side by side's parked right under yeah, that yeah, hanging yeah. light. Yeah, the, the truck's right there. <laughs> it feels like we're in a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that crazy? This is the craziest I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, there's, it's so weird because there's water. There's a deeper than most lakes I've ever fished. And then above us, it looks like hey, we're in a Star Wars. Did show. these things on the walls fold down and hold the missile? Yeah, they were. They were the, the springs that would hold it, like in place. And then they would go retract, and then there was an elevator that lifted the rocket up. Oh, so it was wide as shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was as wide as the doors. Yeah, I see. And then, so they had scaffolding around the whole thing so you could surface every nut and bolt. All, it, it spiraled all the way down to the bottom. You got your one. Nah. Uh, uh, it's hitting the fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah.
now now the now it's gonna go. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the whole yeah, you better get the hell out of here. There, that's oh, as far as you're gonna go. That'll help. That way you don't have to. So this is how you get on the ladder. You just step right here. Yeah. Just don't let go. Swing yourself all the way around. Yeah. And then go down. Once you're down there, we can't hear anything you're saying. It's 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 like blown out. So like don't What? Yeah, you can't hear it. If I'm on that boat, I cannot have a conversation with you. You won't hear you'll you'll say oh, oh, oh. that's all you'll hear. There's no No way. Dude, you know what this reminds me of? When you're little, right? And you're swimming in a pool at night. Uh, and even though it's a pool, you still think there's a shark coming in the deep end. Uh, That's what this yeah, feels like. Yeah. Like it feels like Jaws is gonna breach Something up. Something could be down. Right? Yeah. It might. Oops. You're gonna have to get over or under it. Two. You're doing good. It will rattle really a lot once you get down to the bottom. Hell yes. <laughs> Close. Did you hear that screaming? It's just, it's just the ladder. Yeah, it sounded like a spirit. Close. Touch the water. Just Did you? Yeah. I'm getting out of this asbestos. I screamed one out like four minutes ago. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> There's no airflow though. How was I, it? I held my breath past the asbestos. Yeah, that's a good call. And uh. Well, why is it a good call? I thought you had it tested. Yeah, I did. He said, just don't eat it. I think I might have. Just don't that. eat it through. He said, don't make it go parts. airborne and don't eat it. He said, you'll be fine. Well, I, there's some stuff lying around down there. <laughs> do it now. Nice. I want to do one in the dead of winter. I would never cuddle in a silo for. Trap the fence, catch raccoons. Here's the deal. If, if the audience buys out the new merch drop, I'm willing, I'm willing to come, me and Jerry, because Jerry looks ready. <laughs> Me and Jerry will do a a 24-hour overnight. Only if the merch sells out. Wait. Only if it sells out. Only with, if the merch sells out. With no lights, only oh. thermals. What? Pitch no. black. No lights for the first 12 hours. I like really? it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm You're asking, asking a lot. I don't like this light contingency. You're, yeah, <laughs> You're asking a lot from the audience, so I think you got to give a lot here. I Just would, pitch black? I would. <laughs> Pitch black. My, no my pitch throat black. is itching. Maybe a headlamp. <coughs> Cough that one. Are you dying or? Mm -hmm. Or maybe just all of us scaring each other. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the Guggen Squad. I gave the boys the tour of the missile silo. It, I'm telling you, from personal experience, the first time you go down, you feel real uneasy. I imagine then buying it and still feeling uneasy. Get in here three or four times, it'll feel like home. It's like a second home to me. Okay. Well, I'll so tell you, you just gotta trust the process. It's I'm like you've already me. breathed the air. We had virgin. Lungs. Why does he think you're gonna? You're. I've had it tested several times. I'll Next see day, you. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll see you in thirty years. <laughs> several times I've had tested. The asbestos is nothing to be worried about. There's no mold. There's none of that. It's all clean. I believe you. They don't trust me. But it's just still. A little funky, you know? Down there with like the water on the roof, it literally looks like you're on Six Flags going to the Batman ride. Never been, but sounds like a good time. Looks just like that. Well, you guys enjoyed today's video. Let us know in the comment section down below. You heard of LFG, if you sell out the merch drop, the boys and I will do a 24 hour challenge in the missile silo. Link down in the description down below if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Goon Squad. Peace. Hey guys, would you like an opportunity to win this brand new Chevy Silverado Z71 custom wrap pickup truck? If you answered yes, that's good because we are going to give it away to one of you guys. All you have to do is visit GuggenSquad.com and every $5 spent equals one entry to win this truck. Now on GuggenSquad.com you will find everything from performance clothing to footwear. You just can't go wrong. And as a bonus, if you use code LOJO at checkout, you will save yourself 10% on your entire order. This giveaway runs from October the 1st through December the 31st, so get your entries in now while you still can.